Hey guys, today we are looking at the most important and essential features of Windows Movie Maker and absolutely no nonsense. If you watch the entire video without skipping, I can guarantee that you will be ready to make or edit your own videos. So let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is add a video that you want to edit. So we are ready with the video. Now you might want to add a title because it serves as a as an introduction. So here you can see uh, I got this title and um, now I can actually change uh, the name of the movie or whatever that it is related to. So I'm going to change it to something like iPad mini. Now you can see that it is playing out. So this one seems to be too long for my liking. So what I want to do is I want to reduce the timing here. Go to edit and change the duration to 2 seconds. Now you can see that it is reduced. So it is enough. Okay, so now let us say that you do not want a particular portion of the clip in the video and you want to remove that. So what you do is use the split function. Choose the portion that you want to remove and go to split and exactly place where you want it. And from here I want to remove up to here. So. I'm going to again click the split. So now what happened you can see that the entire clip is isolated. Now I can delete if I want. All you got to do is right click and delete. And let us say I want to get it back so I can always uh, press the control Z to undo and uh, let us say want to move the same portion from one area to another area you can also do that like that just press and hold and drag drag it to wherever you want to place it like this so that's about split basic functionality Now let us say that I do not want the audio from the video. So what I can do is go into the edit and uh, here I can click on the video volume and reduce it. You can completely mute that. Now I can record another audio uh, from other application or I can use the built-in narration tool and sync with the audio. I'm going to show that in a bit. And I'm going to put it back for now. Now, if you want to add background music, which a lot of people use, so what you can do is go into the add music and choose the audio file that you want to add that place in the background. So do note that you should use only copyright music, copyright free music if you are using for YouTube or any other commercial purposes. So as you can see that the audio file is added and um, I can also move it around wherever I want to. For example, I can press and hold and uh, move it to whichever portion I want to place it. Now if your music is overpowering your narration, uh, then you can also adjust the volume of the music. What you can do is go to this project and click on the audio mix. Here you can reduce uh, the sound of the music so it does not overpower the actual content of the, the video. Now let's look at the narration tool and see how we can add audio to the video. So you need to go into the edit and first thing is you need to mute the video volume.
now go into the record narration option and here you need to click the record now it will start recording and um, you can stop it whenever you want to once the recording is finished and uh, you need to save the file so as you can see it is saved and uh, the you can also sync the audio according to the video you can move it around as well now let us try to uh, do the same step that I told you earlier that you need to reduce the music volume so that it does not overpower the narration now let us try and save this although you can save it at any point of time we are saving the project now you might let us say that you want to delete a particular portion of the audio that you do not like so what you can do is just use the split function and uh, select the portion that you want to delete and um, this is how you can simply delete that particular portion as you can see on the screen so you don't have to re-record it again which is a really a pain in the neck so you can also move around as you can see you can also do the same function to the music as well if you do not like a portion you can easily split it and uh, you can remove it let's look at the captions if you want to add any information or captions to your videos uh, you can click on the captions option there and uh, you can give whatever you want to for example I'm giving this and you can move it around so you can see that you can also give information on the video using captions and you can also choose the duration by selecting here you can also move it around if you want so that's captions now let us say you want to blur a particular part of the screen or the video then what you can do is again use the caption option and uh, exactly move it to the place you want to blur and here there are different ways of doing it but um, I'm going to stick with the simple one I'm gonna go with the uh, number 3 and uh, you just type the number 3 as per your requirement so you can adjust and try to fit it to the area that you want to blur now go to this Withings font and uh, also go to outline and uh, extra thick now choose the color which is white now you can see that it is blurred out I mean if you're using YouTube you can also YouTube native YouTube uh, stuff but uh, this is in Windows Movie Maker the easiest way to do it so you can see that that part of the video is somewhat blurred out now let's look at the animations I want to animate the text within that slide so you can see here there are a few available so I'm gonna choose uh, this one and as you can see that it is now being animated
Now, let us look at another, some other visual effects. Here, let us say I want to um, add some visual effects like this, changing from one scene to another scene. You can also do that. Now, if you want to uh, fast forward or use the slow motion for a particular uh, area, then you need to choose the area. And uh, first thing is you need to use the split function. Click on the exact same location area that you want to fast forward and uh, click split. So I've selected it. Now you need to click on that particular area and uh, go to here and uh, choose how speedy or how slow you want it. So I'm going to go with let us say 8x and um, okay that's too fast so 4x now you can see that it is going a bit faster and I can also do that same process to slow down the video that's it for this video guys i hope you liked it please subscribe like share and comment i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching